Hi guys, I um, wanted to make a video talking about this coronavirus because this shit is fucking crazy and I know a lot of people don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't even know what the fuck is going on. I don't think anyone really does, but I, I know we're all scared and worried and we all have our opinions on how to keep each other safe and, you know, what to do, what not to do. Um, and so I don't want to shit on anybody's whatever, but I wanted to just really quick say that it, it is a really, really big deal right now and, and it's not a joke. Um, I know because we ha a lot of us haven't seen it with our eyes what it's been doing and, and who it's been affecting, it's like hard to understand that it's real, but it really is real. And I've seen a lot of like young people out in the world, like all over the place, like going to the club or going to, you know, the beach or like just going out and hanging out. And it's, it's really irresponsible and I'm gonna explain why. I think the best way I can explain this is letting you guys know how I first perceived everything when it first started, which was, I was just like, oh, I don't give a fuck. I'm young. I'm, I, I don't care if I get it. I don't care if I die. You know, it was like that stupid, like, state of mind where I'm like, I don't give a fuck if I get it or I'm not going to get it. I'm immune, whatever. Right. And I did not realize that it's not about me. So everybody that's thinking, oh, I don't care if I get it. I don't care if what it is. It's not about you. It's about if you do happen to get it or if you're near somebody that gets it and you don't even get it, you can transfer that to somebody else who's much more weak, much weaker, my bad. And that's completely irresponsible. And the fact that you can go out into the world and be like, oh, I don't give a fuck. I, I'm ready to die. Ugh. It's like, it's not about that, dude. It's like, I know, like, the stores are like, there's like barely anything in stores right now. And it's, it's, it's scary. And it's, it's, we're all home and we don't know what to fucking do. For one, you could foster puppies, which is what I'm doing. I don't know if you, but anyway, I wanted to talk about it because I know half the world is freaking out and half the world doesn't give a fuck. So I wanted to just real quick say, don't panic, but don't be an idiot. <laughs> You know, please take responsibility for your endurance of this, because, yeah, you could get it and you could be fine, but you could give it to your parents. You could give it to your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, your friend's mom, you know, like it, it's not about you. And I think that's that really made me realize, because at first I was like, oh, pff, I don't care if I get this or, or you know, I'm not going to get it. I'll be fine. I realized it's not about me. I'm not, I shouldn't be worried about me. I should be worried about the people around me, my parents, you know. So I think I'm just trying to make this video. Don't panic. There's enough supplies for people. Stop hoarding things because when you hoard things and you buy out stores just because you're afraid something might happen in the future, you're like making it harder for people that actually need that. You're like, oh my God, I need all this stuff because I might need it soon when there's people that really need those supplies currently and they can't get them because you took them because you thought you might need them. Does that make sense? I don't know if everyone's aware. I'm sure you all are. It's everywhere. But there's, like, no toilet paper in stores, no hand sanitizer, no, you know. There's, like, barely any food, barely any vegetables. It's, like, weird. It's weird. It's, we're not, it's not the apocalypse, you guys. <laughs> like, also, stay inside. Like, it's... I don't know why food is... I don't know. Anyway... I understand the panic. I'm just trying to say, relax, but take it seriously. You know, it's a really, really big deal and people are losing their lives. And you got to take care of yourself and take care of your family and the people that surround you. Don't go out. It's okay. It's fucking easy as fuck to not go out. <laughs> like, bro, stay inside. It's so easy. I, I feel great because I never get to be home. So I'm, I'm like living. But I get it then again, you know, it's like. Anyway, wanted to make a video talking about this and, and, and letting everybody know that it is a very, very big deal. But don't. All I'm trying to say is be safe. It is real out there. But don't go crazy. We will get through it. You know, you, you got to. I, I saw something that, that I thought was a good way of putting it, which is just like live your life right now like you have it. So take care of you and the people around you as if you had it yourself don't touch people don't high five handshake hug i know it's hard i'm a really physical person i understand it's hard but you know we gotta take precautions up in here
Um, also, I didn't mean don't go outside. I just meant don't go out into the world. Definitely go outside.